Hello, 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 and welcome to my channel, Anne's Aesthetics, where hopefully I can bring you a little bit of peace, happiness, and just a vibe through painting tutorials today. Today's tutorial is not going to be for everyone, but for those of you that are going to stay, I vibe with you and I appreciate you. Um, I'm going to be doing a witchy frog that's kind of got baddie vibes if you know what I'm saying but we're taking the color khaki as our background color and then here is where I'm just kind of tra tracing where the broom will be now this is where it gets a little bit tricky because I had to figure out how to draw the frog and mine does not look anything like my inspiration photo but it is what it is and it still turned out okay so I kind of just followed the outline of the eyes and the upper part you'll see the different shades in the inspiration photo and I also drew the upper hand that's holding the broomstick. Believe it or not, this is a different shade of orange. This is supposed to be a lighter shade, but I'm very limited on my orange acrylic markers, so it was what it was. But I'm just going to roughly draw the body of the froggy Defining where the butts, <laughs> where the butt cheeks are, where the leg is, where the arm's going to be that's holding the little jack-o'-lantern. Just outlining, and then you're going to fill it in, and this is what it's looking like so far. And then I'm taking a black just to outline around where the witch's hat is going to go, and then I'll eventually fill that in as well. Also going to use this acrylic marker for the black shoes of the frog. So I'm just kind of drawing a boot heel with extremely pointy tips. And what you kind of see me doing is I was flicking the end to really get that sharp light touch. And then I would just drew a light heel with doing the same motion, flicking downward instead. And then I just roughly traced on the hand so I could see where I wanted to place the um, jack-o'-lantern like that he's holding and I drew the handle and this is where I'm drawing the pumpkin and I'm filling it in with an orange like jack-o'-lantern color I'm taking one of my smallest paint brushes and just a plain black color and I am outlining the different um, dimensions and shapes of the frog so I'm working on the leg, the knee, then working on that thong, and the very wrinkly, you know, underside. You'll see as we go through it. This isn't going to be for any, like everyone, but for those that are here, I do appreciate you. And if it's not for you, that's okay. I have tons of other tutorials that you can look through that may be more your style. I just thought this was humorous, and with the season, I just really wanted to paint it, so I did. Um... But I'm just going to continue outlining and I'm going to put a face on this little jack-o'-lantern. I thought the broom came out pretty well in the end. I first started with like a brown shade acrylic marker and I'm just roughly, very roughly drawing um, lines of all different shapes and lengths. And then I will eventually go in with different layers. So this is a lighter brown to create those dimensions. And then for the final color, I decided to go in with a gold metallic. And this is the same gold metallic that I am using for the witch's hat. I thought it would be a nice tie together. And I think it looked really good in the end. And it tied in well with the khaki, ugly kind of background color. And to really just top it off, I also decided instead of writing this in black, I was going to do it in the gold. So that's what I did. And I hope you all enjoyed it as well. can't thank you enough for stopping by today. I really hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and you will check out some of my other tutorials. I hope you have a wonderful day and you consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing with a friend. Have a wonderful day.